last night. Oh, no. No, it's all right, Dizzy. He wants us to cut them up into firewood. Bob, Mr. Bentley just called. He wants us to clear the snow from all the country lanes. I can use my snowplow, Wendy. Good. That's just what I told Mr. Bentley. Can I come with you, Bob? Can I, can I, please? <laughs> okay, Dizzy. You can carry my chainsaw. Oh, brilliant. Okay, everybody. Let's go. Can we fix it? Yes, we can. Uh, yeah, I think so.
sleepy. They shouldn't have woken up until spring. Winter's too cold for them. Hello there, Wendy. Oh, where'd you find those porcupines? They should still be hibernating. If I hadn't bumped into their crossing, they'd still be asleep. Should we put them back and cover it up again? Oh, no. You mustn't do that, Scoop. We'll have to let them go back to sleep when they're ready. But it's too cold to leave them out in the open. There's only one thing to do. We'll have to take them back to the yard. Good idea, Wendy. Hi, Bob. Have you finished cutting the logs? Oh, hello, Wendy. We got kind of distracted. The pond's frozen over and the ducks don't have anything to eat, so Dizzy's going to take this bird seed out to them. I'm Dizzy the Duck Feeder! Yippee! <laughs> Don't worry, bird. I've got something special planned for you. Did you and Scoop clear all the roads? Uh, no. You see, we got distracted, too. They were hibernating, and we woke them up by mistake. They need somewhere warm to stay. Hmm. I've got an idea. Great. I'll finish the logging. Scoop can clear the roads by himself, can't you, Scoop? No problem, Wendy. See you later. Now, let's find somewhere warm for you to stay while I get to work. There you are. 